Was Sean Payton trying to run up the score in yesterday's win over the Carolina Panthers? But before we talk about that, guys, I want to thank the affiliate partner for today's video, Green Gridiron Helmets. Use code D-E-N-S-Y-N, DENSEN, link in the description down below to save off authentic NFL team helmets. From little replicas to full-blown, full-scale sized helmets. Use code D-E-N-S-Y-N. Thank you so much to Green Gridiron. And now back to your regularly scheduled content. The Denver Broncos took commanding lead of that game pretty much after halftime. They started off with a 7-0 deficit, and then they went on to score 28 unanswered points. By the time it was a three-score lead as the Broncos entered the fourth quarter, the Broncos clearly felt comfortable in this victory, but by that same token, it's still the NFL. You cannot get completely comfortable until you have basically a four-score lead, and even then, we've seen teams blow four-score leads before. With the way that Carolina was playing, let's just be honest, that probably wasn't going to happen, but you still can't get complacent, especially as you head into the next two weeks of your schedule with Baltimore and Kansas City on the road. You cannot get complacent in these situations, so you've got to keep your foot on the gas for all four quarters. And the Panthers were not happy that Sean Payton continued to do that. Bringing in this clip that's kind of gone viral, courtesy of Nine News, of J.C. Horn. <laughs> Yeah, you'll see that uh, Horn kind of got in Peyton's face there saying that he didn't appreciate him running up the score in that situation. And um, on the TV copy, you could see Sean was just going over there and saying, hey, hey, I coached your dad. I coached your dad. That's what Sean was saying. That angle um, from that particular camera didn't show it. But when you watch the TV copy at the very end, it very clearly shows that's what Sean Payton was telling J.C. Horn there. And that's what Sean said he told him in his post-game presser as well. So Sean Payton wasn't like going after and trying to dog cuss J.C. Horn or anything like that. But the Panthers were upset. I will say this, though. If you're really that upset, you guys also get paid to play defense in the NFL. Why don't you stop it? There's really two plays in particular that I would imagine pissed off the Carolina Panthers. The first one being that field goal where it was going to be a 55-yard attempt. This is something that kind of rubbed me the wrong way with Broncos country at that game. And I don't know if the TV camera caught it. Broncos country was doing the wave Literally, they were screaming, getting up, doing the wave when the Broncos were trying to attempt that field goal. And they were screaming loud. That is not cool, man. That's not something you do when your offense is on the field or when your special teams unit is on the field trying to get points. It caused a communication blunder and there was a false start. It backed up a 55-yard attempt to a 60-yard attempt. And sure, you could say that Sean Payton could have punted in that situation and tried to pin Carolina back deep, but you're kind of in no man's land where if you punt, you're probably not going to be able to place it deep. It's probably going to result in a touchback and not a very good net yardage for the punt. And you're probably not going to make a 60-yard field goal in that situation. So why not put a fake field goal on tape for your opponents coming up and do the thing, do a look that's basically not going to work. And then you can build things off of that. Look, you could build another throwback off of that. Look, other things that you can do. There's a reason why the Broncos put that fake field goal on tape. And they probably knew from the minute they called that play that it wasn't going to work. And then the other play was fourth down and two, the double pass, Cortland Sutton to Michael Burton, a really sick play design. That one you could definitely say was a little bit petty, but Sean Payton himself said that the Broncos were trying to extend the drive there because he's seen leads been blown before in the NFL. The Broncos Broncos really wanted to get a four score lead and then you could probably think about taking starters out of the game at that point. Let Jarrett Stidham and, co and company come in and get some mop up duty. I could very easily see that being the logic there for the Denver Broncos and that's 
kind of what Sean Payton basically said here, taking a listen to this. Which after the game, uh, a number of Panthers players um, that were frustrated felt like you were running the score I know, up. I know, I know, I know, how, I know, how do you, I know. How do you respond to that? Listen, I said it last night. We're trying to finish the game the right way. We're not trying to run up the score on anyone. It's the National Football League. I've been in games with a 28-point lead in the fourth quarter and lost. So we're trying to finish. The Burton throw from Sutton is trying to continue a drive. Um, play better. Sean is 100% right. Play better, man. If you guys don't want the score to get run up on you, and again, I don't even think the Broncos were really run, running up the score, but if you don't want the score to get run up on you, then stop it. You are a professional defense in the NFL. You also get paid millions of dollars to stop these plays. And quite frankly, if you can't do it, then that's on you. That's how I feel about this situation, Broncos country. I don't feel like Sean Payton was trying to run up the score. They were trying to take that four-score lead in order to potentially pull starters out. They put some looks on tape for their opponents heading into these next three weeks against, against Baltimore, against Kansas City, and against Atlanta. That's going to be a big-time test for this Denver Broncos team, and they wanted to get some looks on tape for those three games coming up. That's how I feel about it, but let me know in the comment section below, Broncos country, do you believe that Sean Payton was trying to run up the score? Do you think that this was some petty NFC South rivalry, th rivalry thing? I don't, and the reason why I don't think that is because there's really nobody that's still around in that Carolina Panthers organization that was around when Sean Payton was in the NFC South. So I don't believe that there's any bad blood there because, again, there's really nobody left in Carolina that has ties to when Sean Payton was in New Orleans. So I don't see that being why Sean Payton would have tried to run up the score. And again, I'll say it, I don't think Sean Payton was trying to run up the score. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, Broncos country. I would love to hear them as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are both free and easy ways to show your support. Helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out, and it helps us get seen by more and more members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I'm your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.